Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Uh. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even- oh wait, wrong person. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <sighs> Stagnating air is coming foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Uh oh. Mm. In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Sa, ugh! Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee for still another cookie. It's okay. Please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That's cu that curious expression coming from Yuri, all of all the people. Calm down, guys. I'll talk to her. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, Dang. we need to figure out the rest of the festival's <laughs> preparations. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. Is that right? Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle all that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Uh, Yuri can... Uh... Um, can I get $20, uh, on a pump, uh, <laughs> eh? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. N no. Dang, <laughs> she <just> got <laughs> That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Fuck you, Monica! <laughs> <laughs> now, Nishuki pouting. Now, Nishuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. <clears throat> uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you useless bitch. You have beautiful handwriting, you Do know. Do you know how much I struggle reading this <laughs> You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyways, that just leaves you, Shay. The one who is truly... Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 the one who is truly useless. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. 
It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. Because we gotta choose which one. Yes. And I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend a weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Everyone looks straight at me. I know but, you're of pick. course, I'm going to go with... Okay, but here's the thing, Amanda. Okay. Like, you... Me too! <laughs> you already know, but here's the thing. We wrote a poem for Natsuki, and we didn't even get a little, like, special true. bond thing That's with true. her. Yeah, because Natsuki sucks. We got... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we got one with... And butterflies a fly. Okay, she's a genius. I'm sorry you don't understand. Spiders... It's Amy. <laughs> Fuck Amy. <laughs> Fuck everyone. Everyone is a spider. Let's go with Sayori this time, then. Since we didn't choose her last time, we'll go with Sayori. But we already... She, we... Okay, fine. Okay, the, she, Monica. I don't know. Who are we not specifically chosen? <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> But here's the thing. <laughs> the the reason why I picked Natsuki okay. is because she's cute. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at Yuri! What about her? Look at her hair! Look at Natsuki's hair, it's pink. It's, it's stupid. She has like this little like quarantine zombie virus symbol on her hair. Okay, but Yuri has this useless hair clip that's literally doing nothing. It's called a bobby pin, and they do a lot. It's, her hair is going to fall down anyway. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So yes! it could probably, <laughs> so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun, unlike making stupid decorations. Okay. You'll definitely agree. <clears throat> uh, just a minute ago, you were you were saying that. <laughs> that's because. <clears throat> Never mind. Okay. Well, anyway, I start to follow Monica and Yuri up the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Oh shit, we are getting a side thing with Natsuki. Oh. I shouldn't have picked her for the cupcakes, then. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, just made Yuri feel useless for nothing. Yep, thanks. Um, <clears throat> where are you going? Eh? Well, still, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped in my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Huh. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all my all the ingredients. Who are these kids' parents? They don't exist. Okay. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would murder, slit my throat, <laughs> and bleed me out. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. Dang, we're gonna kill him, aren't we? <laughs> we have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when, I, when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah! I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So, you better look forward to it. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's up 
coming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she's acting any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. She sent e We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kinda saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's only like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the, in the back of my mind, between what Sayori said and what Monica said. It is, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. <laughs> the house is quiet. Mm -hmm. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Oh, sh oh shit. Stop! Okay. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Did I make her kill herself? I head up to her bedroom, <sighs> where I finally find her. Sayori? She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shay. I sit down in her room. What a boring room. Sayori, what do you mean boring? There's like nothing on the wall. It's like broken calendar thing over here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play. <laughs> Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Oh, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Shiori's room is as messy as it always been. There's nothing in there! <laughs> I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's- Oh, what wall decorations! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I had to pee. Hey. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be- aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Oh, that's true. But, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't- We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Oh, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just- Wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you do well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Shay. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. 
What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Shay. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Shay? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Ooh. Uh-oh. Poor girl. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Relatable retweet. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Mm. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. So, oh, you don't understand at all, Shay. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. So sad for you. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes to help you, or whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Shay. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now, you come, you come here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking... I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Shay! Sayori! I don't care. Oh, oh, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate. How much I care about you. I would have it I wouldn't have it any other way. Shay. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remained at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Damn, why am I being so forceful on her? <laughs> 
Sherry, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it... If you have it in you to call yourself yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me, goddammit. <laughs> I'll get mad if you don't. <laughs> I'll start swinging. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Shay. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah? Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But I'll just win. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help us out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. Be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. She's gonna die, isn't she? Oh, poor girl. Poor what girl. do you mean? Poor girl. Oh my god, okay. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki's about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. And we should leave off there. Alright. Ooh, what a juicy episode. She gonna die. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm Amanda. And Shay. And this is Sugar Free Gaming. Sugar Free Gaming. This is Doki Doki Literature Club. Part, like, 107. Um, I'll see you guys next time.